Now, I shared with you before that we were going to show some of the parallels that Joseph has to Jesus. And one of the parallels that takes place here is that the entire time that this is taking place with Joseph, he says nothing. Much in the same way that Jesus said nothing when he was heading to the cross. Also, what we found out is that Joseph is actually sold into slavery in Egypt. But before all that happens, there is a time that comes and takes place at the end of chapter 37 to where all of the brothers and sisters are around their father. And he is in mourning. He rents his clothes. He rips his clothes. That was a sign of mourning at this time. And he even says, I'm going to mourn, not just now, because a typical mourning time could be anywhere from seven days to 30 days and could it go up to a year. He says, I'm going to mourn for the rest of my life because of the loss of my son, because I am at fault. And the amazing thing is, is that the 10 brothers, they stand around their dad. They know what they have done with the money in their pockets, and they see how hurt their dad is, and they do nothing. They just stand there. You're going to have an opportunity, and I'm going to have an opportunity to step up for the right things, to step up to tell the truth to step up to make sure that there is someone who might be the underdog but needs someone to be there for them. Would you watch for those opportunities and when they arise, not if they arise, but when they arise, would you be the one to stand up and have the faith in God that He will take care of you to choose to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. We'll see you tomorrow.